Once upon a time, there was a king who cared deeply for his family and his people. But recently, he started to doubt some of his officials. Among them were three ministers who handled most of his work. The king suspected that one of these ministers was dishonest and tampering with the kingdom's finances. The king was confused and didn't know which of the three ministers was dishonest and which ones were loyal. To find out, he devised a clever plan. One day, the king summoned all three ministers and said, Listen, my birthday is coming soon. I have a task for you. Each of you will be given a bag and sent to a dense forest. Your job is to fill the bag with fresh and good fruits. You have until sunset today to complete this task. Bring back a full bag of fruits for the celebration. The ministers were handed their bags, and the king's guards escorted them to the forest, dropping each minister off at a different location. The first minister was honest and hardworking. He decided to do his job diligently. He searched for fresh, ripe fruits and worked tirelessly to fill his bag. By the end of the day, his bag was full of fresh, delicious fruits. Though he was exhausted, he was proud of his honest effort. The second minister was clever but lazy. He thought, the king doesn't have time to check every fruit. He'll only see if the bag is full or not. So, instead of searching for fresh fruits, he picked up whatever he could find on the ground, even rotten and spoiled fruits. Once his bag was full, he sat under a tree, relaxed, and waited for sunset. The third minister was dishonest and extremely lazy. He thought, why bother finding fruits at all? The king will only check the bag's weight, not what's inside. So, he filled his bag with dry leaves and small stones. Then, like the second minister, he sat under a tree and waited for the day to end. By sunset, all three ministers returned to the palace with their bags. The king inspected the bags but didn't open them. Instead, he announced a surprising punishment. He said, all three of you will be locked in separate cells for one month. During this time, you will eat only what you brought back in your bags. The guards locked the ministers in their cells. The first minister, who had collected fresh, tasty fruits, enjoyed his meals every day. He survived the month comfortably because of his hard work and honesty. The second minister, who had filled his bag with rotten fruits, had no choice but to eat them. Over time, he became ill from the spoiled food. His condition worsened, and he deeply regretted not putting in more effort. The third minister, who had filled his bag with dry leaves and stones, had nothing to eat. He starved and, within a couple of days, passed away in his cell. His laziness and dishonesty cost him his life. Moral of the story. This story teaches us that laziness and dishonesty may seem convenient at the moment, but they lead to regret and suffering in the future. Hard work and honesty, on the other hand, always pay off. Many of us often say, if only I had done this back then, I'd be in a better position now. But such regrets come only when we waste time and don't put in the effort when it's needed. Remember, time is precious. You can't buy back even a single minute of your life, no matter how much money you have. Time has one good thing and one bad thing. The good thing is, you get to decide how to spend it. The bad thing is, once it's gone, it never comes back. So, use your time wisely. Everyone has 24 hours in a day, rich or poor. The difference lies in how you use those hours. If this story inspired you, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more meaningful stories. Take care, and see you in the next video with another life lesson. Thank you.